What's going on, y'all? It's MD Mills, aka Ancient Wizard. We got another video. We got another pick a card. We're going to be doing what do your ancestors or your angels or your spirit guides want you to know right now? And what entities are involved with you right now? It's kind of like what I did the last video, but we got three cards or three piles this time. All right. So we're going to find out what entities are really dealing with you right now as far as your spirit guides and interacting with your spirit guides. And we're going to find out whether your angels, your spirit guides, or your ancestors, what messages that they have for you, like what's going on right now. So power one, you're going to be the red jasper for power one. And then you got, you're going to have the, Pile two is going to be the pie right here for pile two. And then you got Peridot for pile three. All right. Peridot is going to be for pile three. All right. So let's jump right on into it. Pile one for Jasper, the red Jasper. Okay. Pile one. So I'm going to just put this up here for some pile one. Let's see what y'all got going on. Let's see what y'all got going on. One spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Power one. What do y'all want for them to know? What's going on right now? What do y'all want for them to know? That's a lot at once. So I got these, but you know what? They said do the oracles. All right. So the bottom of the deck, we got Ace of Cups. So y'all got Ace of Cups. I'm gonna put that up. We're going to do the oracles. We're going to pull the oracles. I really like to lead with the oracles. You know what I'm saying? With the oracle cards. I got, I'm going to pull like at least two from both decks that I have. So what oracle messages do we have for power one? What oracle messages do we have for power one? What oracle messages do we have for power one? What oracle messages do we have for power one? Okay, we got two of them that fell out. At the bottom it says heart chakra. Okay. That's wrong. So we oh wow, blooming. Blooming energy. Y'all might y'all might be a returning a returning uh energy from the last video, as a matter of fact. Because this is similar to what I've already pulled before. So we got that. Let's pull for pull the other two. We got reclaim your energy and in the infinite or the infinite. But it's infinite. I believe 42 and 49. Okay. What do we have for power one? Spirit, what do we have for power one? Got the eagle that came out here. The eagle. The eagle. See from a higher perspective. With the infinite right there, it looks like she's spreading her wings. It looks like you're spreading your wings. With your reclaim your energy, you're being able to. I'm getting blossom energy from this. I'm getting like you you're seeing yourself. Look at this, the magic guardian. And she got wings too. Unlock the magic within. So with this wing, so much wing energy. It's so much of it. You got you could be a big connection to birds, could be in a big connection to birds. Got magic guardian, the eagle, the infinite, and reclaim your energy. On the bottom of the deck, you got hermit. So you could be into meditation right now. Um, matter of fact, no, let me move that over here. You could be into meditation right now, doing a lot more of it, just getting more zen into your uh, into yourself and finding more peace. 
but the birds are giving you messages right now. Um, you could be seeing big birds with the eagle. Eagle is a big bird. So you could be seeing a lot of big birds right now. Talons. Uh, they saying, be careful with your talons. You don't have to show your claws so much. Uh, be open to receive. Like, keep your hands open. Be open to receive. That's what they. That's what I'm getting. So, let's see. Five of Swords. Ace of Swords. Three of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So, let's keep going. You got the Ace of Swords. You got the Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Which is very good cards. Celebration with the Three of Cups. And then you got the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords, which will also will be Six of Swords. And with the Ace of Swords is truth. It's whatever it is, is there's a truth being brought out about some type of battles that you had to overcome and defeat. And it's also some the truth. It stands it stands firm against any type of uh, war that somebody wants to wage with you. I'm getting like pettiness and jealousy. Somebody wants to be petty and jealous towards you. The truth, it it trumps over that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, which which also allows you to move on to common waters, which is six of swords. So, you know, so with the six of swords, I'm also getting not only is you moving moving forward, you're you know that you're in good hands, especially with this guardian here. You're in good hands. Spirit, what do we, what more do we have for what's going on? We got two here. The moon, the lovers. The three of cups. And you got the ace of swords with the moon. Then you got ace of swords here, the ace of air at the bottom of the deck. So, so you got ace of cups and you got ace of air. You got ace of swords, so you got ace of swords twice. So there's a big truth here. There's something that is a big truth, and or it could be a big clarity. You got the moon here with the swords here, so it's like there's no secrets. There's no secrets, and the truth is, like I said, this the truth is going to stand out against something that was trying to keep kidding. Somebody was trying to be deceptive and just petty behind your back. And it wasn't even deceptive. I'm not even getting really too much deception. Deception. I'm just getting jealousy. Then you got the. I want to say that you got the seven of cup. I mean, seven of pentacles here. So, what it really was was somebody trying to. Uh, I want to say tap into the faucet of your money tree. Someone wants to tap into the faucet of your money tree. They've been doing like spell work. Possibly they've been doing spell work, trying to uh, trying to ruin your money tree. Whatever it is that you're growing stability from, they've been trying to tap into that as if like you know how uh, things are. You know how um, sap is made, like sap from a tree, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they've been trying to tap in and it's, and it's also because like they see how how much you've been celebrating over this all this time and they've been wanting some of it and it's leaving this whoever it is with the three of swords it's leaving them heartbroken about it because they see that you're growing and that you're celebrating especially here with the lovers it's like they've been doing work on your love life as well but this ace of swords is like you causing, you cause the things to change as like a like a storm, like like a windstorm in a way, like you're blowing people away, blowing minds away, blowing places away. You got the sun card at the bottom of the deck. You know what I'm saying? People, it's just places. I'm getting locations, areas. With the hermit here, you could be um, a Virgo or into hermetics. You could have locks. You don't have to. You could have long hair. But you, it says retreat and recharge. So you'll benefit a lot from just sitting in peace to yourself. 
with retreat and recharge. But you're definitely taking flight. You got the hermit and the heart chakra. And then let me see. Look, up underneath this sun, because it was trying to peak. Up underneath this sun card at the bottom of the deck, you got the high priestess. So you know this already. Everything I'm telling you, you already know pretty, pretty much. I want me to pull another card for y'all? Pull another card. I feel like you want me to pull another card. Now, I opened it up to the devil. The devil could be toxic family. The devil, the devil could be toxic old loved ones. Okay. So, you got the higher front. We got the lovers again. We got the two of pentacles. We got the two of wands. And we got the three of pentacles. So... What I'm getting from all of this right now, matter of fact, let's let's pull some clarification. Let's pull some clarifications. With the higher font, it's like they seen they see that you've been whoever has been doing the spell work, they're using prayer. They're using prayer to do so with this higher font praying. They could definitely be someone who goes to a a church or someone who is like a prayer warrior. I'm hearing prayer warrior. Like people who pray a lot. People who, you know, call themselves close to God, quote unquote. That's why the three of pentacles here is because they've been working with this person. And whoever has been um, heartbroken has been pretty much uh, using with this two of wands, been using been trying to dig up things on you in order to do this type of work and if it's not dig up things on you it's definitely um they've been trying to bury something from you like hide it and with this moon here and this five of swords it's like they got one hand in and one hand out you know what i'm saying but the devil's still on their back on their butt for real on their ass that's what it is the devil's on their ass and they looking they looking back at what they did, but at the same time, it's like they can't even face you for real. Damn, that shit crazy. My apologies if, you know, you don't resonate with, I mean, if me cussing is an issue, but it's just some things just come out too raw, you know. So get clarifications on this. Spirit, let me get clarifications on this. Okay, one, one popped out. What's this? A. And I just rather focus on self right now. So this is what you could be telling somebody. You just rather focus on self right now. The letter A is significant. You got for everybody. Whoever that is that's been going back and forth, they they give the energy of for everybody. They for everybody. They always got their hands in some shit. Focus on, focus on self a little more. So this is what, this is what the angels want you to do. Focus on self a little more. Big changes, wild action. So with big changes, wild action here, we're gonna pull that off. We're gonna put that. We're gonna put that down here. Big changes, wild action. Whoever this five of swords is, they for everybody. Like I said. It says focus on self a little bit more. That's what the angels want you to do. Big changes while action. That's also with this three of pentacles. So somebody could be wanting to do a lot of shit. But this big changes with this three of pentacles is something that's also in your favor. That's what I'm getting. You got people who want to work with you who are definitely, definitely um, looking to cause some changes in your life that's for the best and positive. Okay, you got fake twin. Oh, and you got want to free your stress, be a therapist to you. So, and it says major breakthrough. Major breakthrough. Can you see it? Major breakthrough. Okay, so major breakthrough. So major breakthrough, get ready to happen. 
big changes. Somebody wants to be your your wants to free you from your stress, be a therapist to you. Now, who this this person who wants to free your stress? I'm getting that they they are who you think they are. There's somebody who wants to always console you or make you seem as though, I mean, make it seem as though, you know, they they want to, I, I guess, take care of you or a caretaker in a way. But then I'm getting, I don't know, it could be a fake twin. Fake twin. Somebody who seems... They they say they think they like you, but they're not. Hmm. They're not like you. Whoever your fake twin is. Hmm. Let me pull a card on that fake twin. Spirit, who is this fake twin? We're gonna pull one of these. What is the card of this fake twin? Put the card on this fake twin, and then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna pull on, I'm gonna pull um, who you dealing with. Pull out who's the fake twin. They gave me two two of swords and the chariot, which would be a nine. Then you got eight of wands communication. So, somebody it's gonna be somebody who's gonna call you who you have not been seeing like eye to eye with, and it hasn't been really no balance with. They've been trying to make a decision about it, but. It's like y'all haven't been looking at, y'all haven't been facing each other. It's like you turn your back, they turn theirs. You know what I'm saying? And it's definitely, it could definitely be a cancer involved um, because it's an air sign and a cancer. Whoever has both of those uh, very highly aspected in the chart, probably definitely the, the a Libra or an Aquarius. Those are the two cards that's really like out here because that's a Libra card and you got five of swords. That's like Aquarius and you got the moon and you got the chariot. And those both of them are really like um, cancer cards. But yeah, that's who it is. It's it's an air sign, water sign. Um, and you'll be, you'll be receiving communication about this. And then as I put the card back, it was a two... It's supposed to be two of pinnacles. Yeah, that's two of pinnacles. It says change. So there's a lot of big changes happening right now for you. Let's see what's, what um what entities are you dealing with right now. We're going to pull up these clarifications right quick. And I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to pull this back. So we're going to do that. Yep. Pull this out. Take this. Put this here. All right, so let's find out what entities are interacting with your spirit guides right now. What entities are interacting with your spirit guides right now? You got tall grays that came out. Okay, and another one I just threw out is Enlil. Okay. What other entities are interacting with your spirit guides right now? What other... Entities are interacting with your spirit guys right now. Then you got Draconian. So these are your entities, and this that's all that, that they have is that's all they wanted to say. So for those who pick power one, you got Draconians, you got the Dracos and Lil, and you got the Tall Grays interacting with your spirit guys right now. I don't know if they are, I mean, you could be of these beings, but you also could be you know, um, fighting against these beings or, you know, doing something with these beings. But definitely, nine times out of ten, you are associated with winged beings as well. So whether that's angels or, you know, um, other other mystical beings or and other uh, ethereal beings as well, these are the ones that you are associated with, all right? So I love y'all. I appreciate you checking out this video. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you feel the ne the need to, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever you would like to do. And 
I will see y'all next time on this video. I definitely appreciate it. And I hope that you benefited from this message, all right? 100. We're going to move on to the next pile. All right. Peace. Let's pull these out. Let's pull these out. And bring this back. Let's see. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. Yeah. All right, so pile two. Pile two. Pile two, you would be the pie right. start with an oracle message for power two all right for power two we got pyrite for those of y'all who pick pyrite these are this is your message we're going to start off with this Oracle card. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, Spirit, what do we have for Power 2? What, what messages do we have for Power 2? One, the crown chakra, unlimited self, and we have this one as well. It's three, okay. You got crown chakra, the sound of the universe, and communication, co-creation. So it looks to me as if you are communicating with spirit and you are using song or sound you're singing if you don't sing you are tapping into the different sounds that there are to bring about certain reactions it's a science thing with you You're using sound in some way. This is like taking sound baths, um, tuning forks, singing bowls. Uh, I'm even hearing drums for a few of you. Uh, and even hypnosis. Some of y'all may be going in hypnosis, trying to learn about Akashic Records or something like that. 
trying to do some things like that. Awaken awareness, 17. You got awaken awareness. So you have been growing your pineal gland and your crown chakra. You could be wearing purple, but you have been learning more and seeing more that you've been encountering. encountering. There's a lot more downloads being received when you be in communication with your spirit guys and your spirit team. So, yeah, the unlimited self, that's what you've been doing. You've been tapping into your unlimited self. You've been tapping into source. For some of y'all who call it source, who call the divine source, y'all been tapping into source. That's what's been going on. Listening closely, paying attention to what you hear. Because it's, okay, you got the, you got the frame of thought that what you hear is almost more important than what you see because you know that what we see is an illusion. But what we hear can give us truth. Seven of Cups, illusion. I just said that. The moon, that was on the bottom of the deck, but they told me to pull it. All right, what else do we have, Spirit? Oh, they want me to take that. Okay, that's a lot. The hangman, seven of cups with the, okay, that's princess of pentacles. The devil. And the hermit card. Once again, y'all could be dealing with power one. The hermit card. All right. The devil and the hangman. So, I'm getting that. The devil is trying to brand you with the moon here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of things going on that is, I'm getting like in the pot, being stirred up in the pot. A lot of ingredients being added to this concoction. The moon. What is the pot exactly? Your mind. Filling your mind up with different things, different thoughts, different, you know, so many options that, you know, that, that ultimately it's like presenting you with so many options to go that ultimately you don't take none. Oh, my. You got the emperor here underneath the bottom of the deck. What else do we have, spirit? Okay. Stability. You got domination. You've been waiting for something to become of a collaboration. You got victory here. And then you got illusion again. You got seven. So you got seven, seven, seven. If you've been seeing seven, 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 you definitely have it here. You got the illusion. And victory here. And you got illusion again with the moon and stability. So it seems as if something is not taking off as much, and it's like it's like how stable you are, but you you don't really know how stable you are until you see some type of results. You got the star card underneath the bottom of the deck as well. So I'm getting, it's like you and someone else, whoever you've been partnering with, you have been working with someone, or you could have been working with a Capricorn as well, but you have been working with someone to put out a lot of, uh, I'm getting, Maybe I'm just getting toxic behavior. You've been working with someone to put out a lot of toxic behavior. And what I mean put out, I'm talking about like exterminate or extinguish to basically, you know, just clean it up. You know, um, it's been a it's been a battle, but y'all was able to overcome it. Now, it's like y'all kind of have been working together, but it seems as though the waiting and you also 
uh, not knowing what's going on with like how, how much you've been investing your time and how strong your foundation is, that has been an illusion. Like, you don't have to. It's, it's like you don't really have to wait. The illusion is that whole time you are being victorious and you have offers being offered to you. Like, in a way where things are breaking it's working itself out but it's going to it's requiring you to what i'm seeing from it it's requiring you to drop drop a wand and what i mean by drop a wand it's like not not having to worry about getting the next win because wind and won and win for something to be won it's like if you're gonna drop one People always say they got one up. Well, whatever next win that it is, you don't. It's like you don't even need it. Whatever that next win is, it's not even needed. Um, what else? Like they got me over here reading, and I ain't even gave y'all your second oracle card. So you could be feeling like. Hey, I've been doing this. I've been doing this. It's another step that need that needed to be done, but that next step, it's not as it's not as it, uh, it's not as needed for you to win, but it is needed for you to feel like everything is complete. I'll put it like that. You won without it you win without it however if you still get it it'll help you feel me but it's not necessary for you to win you don't have to have that for you to be in the energy of victory what else do i have so we got the shaman here trust in higher forces okay so what that just goes into and then you got the it, it kind of just it kind of matches with this like you're getting insight from the divine you're getting communication from the divine through your mind i'm telling you the, the bird is a messenger of spirit especially the owl which is would be the wise one you could like owls have something to do with owls be wearing an owl or something like that whatever it is i know you carry you carry a winged symbol what is this one we got broken arrow embrace the energy of peace and you got air guardian shift your perception so it's something that you can see something that you know that you can see but whatever it is that you can see helps you see it through listening through listening to the silence with this embrace your inner pe the energy of peace it's like that's what listening will come from because when you're in peace you listen more you're able to hear your inside talking you're able to hear the outside communicating with you like that's all we need sometimes especially for you to have the hermit here and you also have the star here underneath the bottom of that deck so let me pull another, pull some more cards. You got judgment when I split the deck. So it's like nobody's passing judgment. You know what I'm saying? You have a lot of people that wants to judge you, but they can't do so because they're not in the same energies as you. You got Queen of Pentacles here. What else do we have? And you have the hermit. Once again, the hermit has came out. Once again. So it's like with the illusion, it's like people people are thinking that you are being scared. And you got seven of pentacles here and you got the empress. And then you got three of swords again. I'm telling you, these... Somebody, y'all could be either coming from power one or dealing with someone from power one. 
But with the Queen of Pentacles here and the bravery, it's like you could be dealing with an earth sign. You could have been hurt from an earth sign. There's a lot of earth on this table. Um, and there's been a lot of illusions being put up. It's been a lot of just, I'm getting a lot of dreams, like a lot of dreams, a lot of things that need, that wants to be done, a lot of ideas, but it's like you could have been feeling like you don't want to be out there. Like you rather just be into be to yourself and with you being to yourself it's like you really are more are becoming more of a butterfly and you're in the cocoon right now you're cooking but it's like with you being to yourself i'm seeing that it hurts it's hurting someone who feels as though they they want to give you they want to give you stuff and offer something to you but you're not in the space to take it right now you focusing on yourself yeah see like i just i just lifted the three of swords up and i got the six of pentacles so it's like they want to give to you they want to give you something but see with this this card here this image is, with this six of pentacles it's like they don't want to give you everything they just want to give you some and it's like whatever this is that they want to give you it's like you've been wanting it for a while now like it's almost to the point where like you like you hungry for it a little bit but it's not like you begging for it it's like he the way he giving me is like as if he teasing them it's like why be teased you know what i'm saying you so instead of instead of you allowing yourself to be teased about somebody trying to give you something cuz as i pulled this card it's a two of swords here so three of swords five of swords they you know what i mean that's like that's I mean, yeah, three of swords, two of swords, that's five of swords. So that's like, you know, the energy of trying to trying to get back, wore it out at all costs type stuff. So, you know, it's like they hurt, so they ain't trying to give you everything. But the whole time you making the decision to, you know, just do it to yourself, be, be you know, for yourself. And that's allowing you to get into this empress energy because you giving – that pinnacle, that same pinnacle that they act like they he trying to be stingy with, you give it to yourself, and that's that becomes a victory. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever this could be, that becomes a victory. You know, and you boss up, you glow up, you grow up, you become the star, the shining star. The star and the moon. And there's a whole lot of commotion and talk about you. Like now, everybody is looking at you and seeing you for who you are. You know what I'm saying? What, let me get some clarification on this. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some clarification. And when I say the star, you just somebody who, you know, like I said, a lot of people is talking about you right now. In crowds, in crowds, though. What do we have? We got separate, split apart. Okay. The moon. Then you got it was multiple. It was multiple. It was multiple people that you had to separate and split apart from. It said, I'd rather just focus on self right now and then co-worker. So it could have been a co-worker involved, co-worker involved with you, feeling some type of way. That's what that was here. You definitely could be um, wanting to stay to yourself because you could be feeling betrayed by a co-worker. And then you got 
you can trust this person. You can trust this person. Whoever it is that that's giving you guidance, that's you can trust this person. It says trickster for sure. So someone else, whoever it is that's over here on this side, like the devil card is a trickster. And you got you can trust this person, whoever is the empress. You got multiple. It was multiple people. Co-worker. Separate, split apart. And then you got also between the age of 33 to 37 years old. So, 37 years old. So, that that is for whoever this empress is. Between the age of 33 to 37 you could trust this person. You got trickster for sure here. Okay. Let's find out who this trickster is. I wouldn't mind. Let's find out. Give me a card for this trickster. Give me a card for this trickster. Give me a card for this trickster spirit. The moon and the death card. So it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio here, the death card. We got change, we got the tower, we got two of cups. You got six of swords and seven of swords and the fool. So that's gonna be I guess that's what it means. Um the change you got a change happening or it could be happening. It's gonna cause a tower. There is a tower coming. The two of cups, it's like you're gonna be moving on towards this two of cups. Whoever this two of cups is, and this is this this has to be a water sign in the air sign. So water sign the air sign. Six of swords, you got seven of swords here. Deception. Six and seven. Which would be thirteen. Which would be four. Yeah, four. So that's four swords. You know, and it's gonna allow you to rest. You got the fool card here. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to take a new beginning. There's a new beginning for whoever this is, and this is the high priestess. So they could definitely have um, water. They could definitely have Pisces in their chart with this high priestess as well. And the emperor it's underneath. So this could be somebody of... Uh, this could be somebody of, of like a boss position with the emperor here. Somebody who be in their masculine energy as well. All right. So that's what I have. Uh Oh, wait. So let me find out what energies, what entities are dealing with you right now. Find out what energy, what entities are dealing with you right now. Your spirit guides are in are interacting with your your spirit guides right now. Let's find out. Let's find out. So that you can stay aware of what is going on in your life. And what forces are behind the veil. Uh, doing things in your life as well. So, okay. Whoa. So it's a, with so many of them. It was so many. You got Pluto. You got Goblin. You got DNA of insects. Homo erectus gene. And the Watchers. Now the Watchers. The Watchers was out last time. You got DNA of insects. And that, 
something. Okay, I'm trying to jump out. Horus. We got Horus here. And we got Mantis here. Like, I'm telling you, somebody's in definitely dealing with the Mantises. We got Horus here. We got the Watchers. Pluto. Goblin. And Homo Erectus Gene. So this this Homo Erectus is one of the genes that of the original man that they already found that was not too smart, but it was supposed to be the first man. You got Goblin here. You got Pluto. So with Pluto here, it's like Scorpionic energy. Pluto brings a lot about a lot of changes. So. If you have what you have in that, it's like this is divine timing at play as well. You got DNA of insects. DNA of insects. And then I just seen mantis. So, yeah, you can have mantis dealing with. You got people who are mantises, who are, um, who have, who are descendants and family to mantis who are also in your life. Uh, manipulating things you got with goblin here i don't know too much about goblins but i'm getting when i when i hear goblin i hear gremlin energy so it's like a lot of mischievous shit you know what i'm saying people who like to do sneaky stuff and they get a thrill out of it like you know doing things that's not that great yeah that's the goblin that's somebody who's interacting with you right now too um, goblins are also magical. They can also use magic, but they are destructive with their magic. Um, Horus. And Horus is also supposed to be, um, you know, uh, Ra's son. So, it's like, with that, it's like almost, almost a chosen one, but it's like, not necessarily chosen, but just more so have a right to the throne. So, well, Horus here, I'm getting that you probably can call on the energy of Horus or right, wear the eye of Horus. You probably somebody who wears the eye of Horus or who likes it a lot. And just something to do with Horus. It's something to do with Horus. Um... The eye of Horus, to be specific. Especially with the watchers here. So, that's that's what I have for you. I ain't going to go into details. I mean, like, too deep into it. These are the energies that you could be aware of that's playing out right now. And um, I really hope that you took something from this. Like, that you had a message that's very beneficial to you. We're going to rock it out and continue going forward. If this resonated, please like, share, subscribe, and I appreciate you so much for even checking out this video. All right, I love y'all, and much peace. 100. And now, we're going to go into pile three. We're going to go into pile three. Let's see how many cards are all of these. Pile three, you are the paradox. All right, pile three, you paradox. I'm going to pull these oracle cards.
for you. Let's see what messages that we have for my pop three. So, power three, what do we have? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, okay, that one really wanted to come out. So we got home. Okay, that's three of them. We got, we got unique gifts. We got the sound of the universe. So yeah, they told me to put that one back. So we got the sound of the universe. We got full spectrum. So I'm getting like an upgrade. You got 51, 55, and 31. So that's five and one. That's a reoccurring number. And, you, and yet you got three fives, so five, five, five. Okay. Five, five, five. Changes. Unique gifts. Your heart is glowing. People see your heart. People noticing that you are different once they take a look at who you really are. And you, are, you hear. You hear a lot of things. The things that you hear... And the things that get brought to your attention allows you to take a closer look at it. And within it, you see yourself. You see parts of yourself. You see different things that make up who you are. You see a lot of similarities in your environments to who you are on the inside, to what you like, to what you like. And things that we like. We like because we are alike. You feel me? And when I say that, it's like, why do you think you like that? Because that's a part of you. In a way. You feel me? So, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I mean. Alright, so look. We're going to put, let me get the other, other, uh, Oracle deck. What messages do we have for power three? We got shield, maiden, make plans and focus. What other messages do we have for power three? Okay. Off of that, I'm getting make focus on your unique gifts that you want to give to the universe because these same gifts are taking people home. And when I mean home, it's like they're bringing them back to the heart space. They're bringing them into a, a place of peace where they originally belong. Medicine guardian. Medicine guardian. Be open to healing information. There we go. Be open to healing information. Like I, it's something like what I just said. It's like it's bringing them back to peace. It's you know you putting up. I don't know. You could be an artist. Snake shed shed old skin. Shed old skin. So it's like they saying change, but not just like change. It's more so like help people change. You know what I'm saying with. With whatever it is that you that you do, whatever gifts that you have to offer, the universe wants you to give those gifts to help people heal and to help people remember who they are, where they come from. Remember home. Home is where the heart is. Remember that. Like I always say that, but.
because if if the heart is what we really valued in ancient Egypt times, as far as you know, or ancient Kemetic times, as far as them even doing the rituals in the way that they do them and still saving and preserving the heart as a very uh, special organ, then it has to be what what is the key to being home, especially if it's weighed against a feather. It is a key. It is something that is your ticket to getting to another place or your key or basically your access to something else. It is determined. It is the main thing that is being determined for your access to something else. You know what I'm saying? If you can go home where you where you belong, where you created. Not, I'm not going to say necessarily belong. But wherever you was created, then you would be able to just sit in bliss. Because I'm sure we was created in bliss. You feel me? Beings are naturally happy. Children are naturally happy. Naturally. You know what I'm saying? It's just when once we encounter unpleasant circumstances, that's when things take a shift. But naturally, we're happy. Naturally, we're satisfied. The universe takes care of all of our all of our needs. So, what else is next? Only desires. Only desires. What else? What else, what else do we have, spirit? We got ten of cups. got queen of cups in reverse wow i usually don't read reversals we got six of pentacles lord of material success we got last judgment so we got the judgment card here and we have temperance the hermit once again, this hermit has been coming up in every reading. So I'm starting to believe that a lot of people are in the energy of studying something right now. Whether it's studying how something is done, studying their own actions, studying about how can they improve. There's a lot of studying being done. A lot of reflection being done. For the Queen of Cups to be in reverse, someone is not, someone is very much so not caring much. They don't care. Ten of Cups, that's, you, that's definitely a perfected success. That's what it says, but it's also, it's also, family when someone has the ten of cups they have everything emotionally emotional fulfillment like all of it success with emotions but with this queen of cups in reverse here I'm getting they don't whoever this queen of cups in reverse is it's like They're not feeling, they're not feeling like themselves. Very much so depressed and unhappy. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups can be obtained, but there's some introspection that needs to be had. And then you have the material success here with the judgment. So it's like judgment. So it's like with temperance here, stirring up into the pot, calling up. You could be, you could be calling on higher beings 
to help you gain material success and there is a mother figure who may not be thrilled about that but at the same time this mother figure is like kind of tr she they tr they want to be in the way of the ten of cups but they can't be that's what I'm getting like this mother figure is let me continue to read they can't really get in the way it's not that they necessarily want to it's just that they don't feel as if they are worthy of your success that's what I'm getting press We're going to take this one, four of, four of swords, I mean, four of wands, and the six of swords. Spirit, what else do we have? So you got six, six so far, which is really still good. Jeez, that's a lot. We're going to take these. So we got two of swords here. We're not definitely doing no. Okay, these cards came out in reverse, so but I'm not reading no reverse like that. So you got the Empress here moving on towards material success. You got the two of pentacles here, a temperance. So it's like you're trying to balance you're balancing emotions. And You balancing emotions is causing for the universe to bring you or make you an empress. Being, being that, and when I say an empress, I'm getting that you'll be more relaxed, more pampered. They'll be able to take care of you a lot more. Um, you're providing, it's like providing your own medicine by staying focused. Because I'm seeing eye of the tiger. And what, whatever, what medicine that needs to be made, I'm seeing that it's being made from, it's, it's being made as an antidote for something that was meant to ward things off or not necessarily be of uh, a great, the greatest delight. Because with this card here, I'm getting poison ivy. Someone wanted to, with this queen of, it was, it's like poison. You know what I'm saying? It's like poison. And it's poison towards the foundation. A poison only, you know, traditionally it's in a cup. Traditionally it's in some type of liquid. So with this queen of cups in reverse, and then I also get I'm getting poison ivy. It's like it's like negative emotions. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like negative emotions. You know? And with this ten of cups, with the two of cups, I mean with the two of swords here, it's like it's like not knowing who or what am I supposed to, are they supposed to do without hurting themselves? Like, but it's like one, one gotta go because two, two sides can't control it. Like, two sides not gonna be able to control everything. It's, it's gotta be a balance. It's gotta be temperance. And if it can't be a balance, then one side gotta go. So it's like, let me pull some more cards. It's like somebody don't want to listen, but if they if they don't want to listen, it's gonna be it's gonna be death card. Like like I said, one of them gotta go. Something is gonna have to be done about it. Something is gonna have to be done about it. What else do we have, spirit? 
else do we have here? We got the Sun card. We got Interference, Eight of Swords. We got Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. And you got Son of Water with the chariot underneath the bottom. Let's straight get into the confirmations. With the sun there in the game, the nine of pentacles game, it's like better times are definitely ahead, but it's like the sun is you realizing that your gifts provide more, uh, it provides more help for the, coll the collective and consciousness than it would you trying to nurture and give emotions to a situation. It's like knowing that you, knowing that you are making a better decision by Being, being in your leadership position. I'm getting you a leader here. Come to an understanding, understanding, understanding of something or with something. And then you also got, they are your twin flame. So this twin flame here is this last judgment and it's temperance. Your twin flame is balanced. They've been trying to balance one thing and another. And the other, and whatever it is that they're trying to balance is allowing them to gain and grow something. You got the nine of pentacles and you also have the two of pentacles. Two of nine is 11, 11 is two. So it's a lot of balance here. It's a lot of balance here, trying to go but juggling between one and the other. With inter with this interference in the sun, come to an understanding of something. It's like your your family comes around majority of the time when you're able to be in a joyous energy. And then you got, I want you underneath this. Spirit, give me, give me more confirmation for over here with this Ten of Cups. Give me confirmation with this Ten of Cups. Sister, I know better. And don't waste my time. So you could be saying, don't, don't waste my time. And like I said, Ten of Cups. Now, usually, you know, Ten of Pentacles is family. However, Ten of Cups can also be family too, you know, from just my experience, just being emotionally fulfilled with people that you love the most and you cherish, you know. So with that saying, sister, you know, I know better, sister, it's like that's who this Queen of Cups could be, this mother figure. And you got don't waste my time. That's what you got with this two of swords here. It's like making a decision. Look, you're not going to waste my time. You know what I'm saying? Because my time is valuable. I got to, you know, work on building towards what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? And they just going to have to respect that because, and they see you. And the thing about it is they see you, you know, being admired and highly decorated. You know what I'm saying? And, and achieved. It's just they want something from you that, you know, that ultimately they have to give themselves. 
what else do we have for here? Love your voice. And you got past life lover. So this sister could be a past life lover. And underneath the bottom of the deck, it said, I mean more to you gone. So they could feel like, or you could feel like you mean more to them gone. Damn. For some of y'all, I hope this, I hope that don't go like too bad. Cause that's, it just, it could go left. I don't want that to go left. You know what I'm saying? But I know for some of y'all, it it's, it feels more real. So, like I said, this love your voice. You could be singing to these people or you could be singing to this person or you could talk to this person. Just communicating, period. Like, they love to hear you talk. They love to hear you, you know, your insight, whatever it is. Your twin flame could love this about you. But... As well, I'm getting this Queen of Cups in reverse was a past life lover. And you telling them basically don't waste their time your time no more. And they and you know better now from dealing with them, but they also know better than to even try to like do a lot about you now. Like do a lot to you or anything like that. They know better now. Alright. So let me find out what entities y'all dealing with right now. And that's going to be that. Entities that y'all dealing with. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. What entities are dealing with my power three? You got Gemini. So you got the Gemini. Y'all could have had the Gemini moon affect y'all in another way. You, you could be dealing with a Gemini or you could be a Gemini. You got the Titans. The Titans are interacting with y'all right now. Or y'all could be a descendant of a Titan. You got Hadarian star seed. Y'all might want to look that up. Sith Lords, underworld being. You got Capricorn that came out. You also had Aries that came out. So I'll do one more. I'll do one more, y'all. So Gemini, Aries, and what else? So y'all, because with these signs coming out, y'all being influenced by these uh, placements, these planetary body alignments. So you got Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. So, in the Castor star system. So, I'm getting... With these... with these, And then they all in the same color, too. Gemini, Taurus, Aries. So, you could have this in your chart. Or somebody could. Somebody that you're dealing with. But... With this Gemini, Taurus, Aries, I'm getting that somebody is being influenced, being influenced by the planetary body alignments in these very, in these specific placements, whatever, wherever they have Taurus, wherever they have Gemini, or wherever they have Aries at. Then, as far as the in, the entity that you are dealing with, you're dealing with the Titans and you are dealing with the Sith Lords, which are under Lord underworld beings. All right, so the Titans. The Titans are also like, they were the primordial God's children. So you could be a descendant of them or you could be dealing with them on an etheric level or definitely like a dream world. Um, in the Hadarian Starseed, you could be a descendant from a Hadarian Starseed or you could be one of them, a Hadarian Starseed. But you might want to look this up, H-A-D-A-R-I-A-N, all right? Um, but you could definitely be one of them or you could be dealing with one, like I said as well, but these are the ones, these are the beings and entities that are interacting with your spirit guys and your spirit team. All right. 
So, yeah, that's what I have for y'all. Um, the Sith Lords, they supposed to be looked at as like they bad, but they really not. They underworld beings. They, they are within Hollow Earth. If I'm not mistaken, I could be, but, you know, each, all of these, I haven't done too much research on it because it's a lot to, you know, go through, but yeah, like when it comes to the underworld beings, they, they protect us as well. Just like they're, like I said, it's good and bad and everything, just like there are bad um, entities and whatever group of species that there are, there's also good ones, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we we tend to just forget what is also living amongst us. And these beings are living amongst us also being on our behalf, especially if they can recognize that you have some type of um, uh, compatibility with them. All right. So that's one thing. So, yeah, I hope this helps y'all. And if you do look up Sith Lord, the underworld beings and Sith Lords, you may even find out that you have some characteristics or traits that are very much so like them as well. And you might be surprised, especially if you start looking at like your family members and stuff that you see some uh, c comparisons, you know, some compatibility in that. So like likeness, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, just, I just ask that, you know what I mean, you do your research and you find more about yourself, ultimately. That's the goal anyway. So, yeah, I appreciate y'all checking out this video. If it resonated, please thumbs up, you know what I'm saying, like, share, subscribe, and definitely, sh like, share if it does. Uh, if you feel like someone else can benefit from this, I really hope that you benefited from the message. And... Till next time, much peace, much love. All right, 100. Peace. I feel anointed. It's going to bring out whatever you keep in dormant. I work for money, now money work for me.